These videos and accompanying PDF package have been prepared by Patricia Malia. Personal use of these items is welcome. However, any use of these videos and package for commercial or monetary gain is not permitted without express consent from the author. Let's talk about the elements of the financial statements, the assets, the liabilities, and the equity as we look at the financial statements. So please refer to this page as I go along talking about it. Assets are things that a company owns. A smart company will purchase the right types of assets to hold and own in order to make as much money as possible. The purchasing of assets, especially non-current assets, is called investing activities. Investing in assets allows the company to hopefully make more money in the future. Liabilities are amounts that the company owes usually to somebody outside the company or a third party. We have payables that are owed to our suppliers. We need to pay them back $79,000 and other borrowings that we will eventually have to pay back. We have the current ones, of course, and the non-current liabilities, amounts that are owed. Liabilities come about, of course, because in order to purchase our assets, a lot of times we don't have the cash, so we will have to pay the amount at a later time. Equity is the amount that the company also owes, but this time to its shareholders or its owners of the company. The equity amount is usually split up into a couple of different pieces. Share capital is the amount that the owners originally invested in the company in order to get it started or to become a part owner of the company. Retained earnings is the amount that the company has made on behalf of the shareholders and holds for them for when they want to have a dividend or to use for purchasing other things. Accumulated other comprehensive income is a long word for saying almost exactly the same as retained earnings except for this amount is for all the incidentals that are not of the ordinary course of business. They are the gains and losses and the funny things that companies do that they don't ordinarily do that they've either made or lost money with. So where our assets are our investing activities, liabilities and equity, financing activities. In order to purchase your assets, you're going to need to either borrow money or get it from your shareholders. Just like if you're going to purchase a house, you're either going to have to have the money yourself, the owner will have the money, or you need to borrow from the bank. So financing the assets comes from your liabilities and your equity, your shareholder. Your operating activities are what you do with your business once you set it up. If you have a house, if you rent it to somebody, that's an operating activity. And operating activities are what create the revenue and the expenses that go along with it. Revenue increases the equity of the shareholder. Expenses decrease the equity of the shareholder and therefore the net amount of this will increase or decrease how much the shareholder will own at the end of the year. I believe the best way to understand revenue and expenses is to actually see how they work with transactions which we will do in very short order.